What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out! Out of the Basement's action figure podcast slash talk show. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And today, we are going to be discussing the carbonized Black Series figures from Hasbro. We do have the Second Sister Inquisitor carbonized version, but it's True. Bucky's, and it's at his place. We but accent. we have seen it. We have seen it in person, so I feel like we can speak with some amount of authority on them, especially having three out of four that we both have and have right. had spent a lot of time with already. Right. Of course, I reviewed all of these figures, so if you want closer looks, definitely check those out. I'll put a link in the description for those. But today, we're gonna be giving our opinions. Are they worth it? Should they continue? Figures we would like to see carbonized? Of course, if you are enjoying Figure It Out, don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe. Mm -hmm. So, Justin, let's talk about the carbonized figures. This is the latest gimmick from Hasbro, where the figures feature slightly different paint apps, a more metallic look, and the box is also more of a metallic finish as well. Yeah, a little different, a little more shiny. Yes, and they come at an extra $5 or if you are the second sister inquisitor you come in at an extra eight dollars because it is a gamestop exclusive because they can just say how do we make more money charge more money <laughs> it's simple. why not it's simple let's make it ten dollars more expensive that's personally why i didn't pick up the second right, sister right. Yeah. inquisitor carbonized version because it does look cool but it also looks very similar yeah i think out of all four released so far i think the carbonized second sister inquisitor is the least changed yeah it's just even the box yeah it's still a dark box yeah it's not really anything like these are all pretty different yeah but for the second sister inquisitor the price mixed with the very minor variation mm. which you can make that argument for the jet trooper as well Right. That it's a very minor change. If it was the only one I could find, I probably would have bought it, but I'd already had a regular one, so I was just like, eh. Yeah. After having the regular one, and because we saw it, we found it in our vlog. Uh, we bought the regular ones, and I would I would double dip. I double dipped on the Sith Trooper and the Mandalorian, but right. when I saw the second sister in person, I was just kind of like, mm. Yeah. <laughs> so... I think it's important to say there's a difference between thinking it's worth it or not, or just being like totally offended that they exist in the first place. Because True. if you look at Facebook comments, uh, the most horrible thing to do is look at Facebook comments. I think it's way worse than Instagram, way worse than Twitter, even YouTube. 100%. Maybe it's because the boomers be are on there using Facebook. The boomer invasion. <laughs> but... Um, it's okay that yeah. these exist. Do I think it's worth it for the extra five dollars? No. No. Yeah. I, I would don't. Agree. I don't think so. But at the same time, nobody's forcing you to buy these. You have the option to buy the regular version. Like if it was like these are exclusive, the only way to get a Mandalorian is to get the carbonized Target exclusive. Then I would be okay. This is wrong. But you have the option to not buy it because we know. Star Wars license has to cost a trillion dollars. Yeah. And I know Hasbro is a mega corporation. So at the same time, we're always very critical of them. But I understand why they tried a lot of different gimmicks with Force Friday. There was the first edition, yeah. white packaging. And it's like some people are offended by that, but it, like at least it's just a little variation in the box. I mean, we're openers, so we don't necessarily care. I care a little small amount. True. Because I, I like to see the variation when we're looking at the aisles. I just like to not always see the red and black box. They're on, they're past number 100 now. So I think it's fine that they did the, not only the first edition and the Mandalorians, or I'm sorry, and the carbonization uh, versions. Yeah. Like, if, I don't think it's necessarily worth it as a collector, but for the people who do want stuff like that, good for them. And if you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. True. You can still, I think my smoking gun argument here is that the regular versions still exist for the $20. Yeah, that is true. And the regular versions are great. And so. I mean, 
you'll get those people out there that are like, well, I'm a completionist, so I need it all. But that's, I mean... I wouldn't count. It's just... Same number. Yeah, same number, so, but, but it's different. It's different enough to where I think if there's a completionist collector out there, they would need to acquire the carbonized deluxe, which I can understand if you want to be a completionist. Personally, I don't necessarily agree with the idea of being a completionist in that regard, mm -hmm. of like every version of every figure you need it. But if that's your thing, then cool. And I could understand why you'd be mildly frustrated because they are, at least the Mandalorian and the First Order Jet Trooper are pretty uncommon at this point. Like if you weren't there, on Force Friday, right. the minute the stores opened, you probably didn't get these. And at least for Walmart, but also probably Target, I don't think we're ever going to see any carbonized figures ever again. Definitely. And just these two. Definitely the, for Walmart. For the Jet Trooper, which I guess we could talk about each one by itself. We already kind of hit the second Inquisitor, second sister Inquisitor. So uh, let's start with the, uh, the Jet Trooper. Okay. Since that was the first one I picked up and you picked up. That was carbonized. Love the figure. Great articulation. I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess this video topic isn't necessarily about the figures themselves, like in terms of like articulation and all that. But, ooh, it's such a great figure. I think it's easily my favorite, like, first order trooper. Yeah. The helmet articulation is like crazy. But in terms of the paint and the box, the box looks awesome. I think it's the best looking box because it actually has the sparkles. True. I'm a slave to Hasbro. I, I <laughs> see sparkly, shiny. Yeah. That's what it pretty much boils down to. Do you like shiny or no? <laughs> so the box, whatever, I open the figure anyway. Like I said, it's, it's fun to see it at the store. Yeah. Because it's not just, oh, your typical red and black box. But ultimately, box doesn't matter to me. I think the, the carbonized uh, Mandalorian box looks cool, too. It's like gold. True. It's like the rustic, bronzy yeah. kind of color. I've seen some people say that the First Order Jet Trooper looks like someone's been smoking around it. And to a certain degree, I can agree with that. Yeah. That it's just kind of weird to make a product like that because it's not accurate. And the Black Series is supposed to be movie accurate. Well, I mean, I feel like all of the carbonized figures are all inaccurate. Right, that's why I'm kind of confused. I think, I feel like the carbonized looks were just another way to kind of get people maybe that were stale on the Black Series and like the lack of like decent paint apps. Even though by now, I feel like paint apps, the face printing, everything, like Black Series is the best it's ever been. Mm -hmm. But there are those people that have just been tired of collecting the same red and black box mm -hmm. and the and especially when Hasbro was really bad about repacking figures into every single wave. That's why to this day, you know, Jin and Cassian still clog the store shelves. Right. But with these ones, you know, it's a little bit shiny. The box is a little different. So it, I feel True. like it was kind of like a way to say, hey, we're actually trying some different stuff that maybe you might like. Right. I can see that. But my personal opinion, obviously I still bought them. Yeah. <laughs> like, I... I don't know what to think because like it is kind of weird that it's ultimately not a movie accurate representation but it's like close enough yeah so like the jet trooper does have some shine to it it's a off-white it if you look really closely it does have kind of a sparkle like uh, glittery yeah kind of look it's very to it. it's much more exaggerated like the boxes i feel like correlate to the color scheme of the figure right and you see the Jet Trooper box and it's super shiny and glimmery. And then the figure is like, you can see they tried to do that, but it must not have worked out as well right. as maybe they had hoped. But right. the shot, the glimmer is still there. You just got to really look at it and put some, put it under like some good lighting. Mm. Yeah. But I'd probably rather have the regular white one. Yeah. Which I of course they didn't release it at the same time. Oh, yeah. So when is... you saw it in person, you were just going to buy the, the new carbonized one. Because you're like, oh my god, it's right here. It's a Walmart exclusive. I'm never going to see this again. Yeah. This is exactly what's going to happen. You're never going to see that again. But they made sure not to put the regular one yeah. in that wave like they did with the Sith Trooper and Mandalorian. So don't know why they did that. Maybe it was like a Walmart thing. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows the politics of, but of toys. I Yeah, I think I do want to get a regular one. Yeah, I think I will too. 
I think it's it's obviously different enough. It's going to fit in better mm -hmm. on a first order display. But it still looks good. Yeah. Like at the same time, I'm like, this figure is so good. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I'm neutral on the the Jet Trooper one. I mean, for the extra five dollars, no. Mm -hmm. uh, since I think that you could is say like that, the topic. You could say that across the board. Right. I feel like, except well, I don't know. Let's talk about the Mandalorian. Okay. This one is probably like the most desirable this was the holy grail force friday item yeah the the carbonized look it's obviously very different from the standard release the the helmet colors are completely different which in the trailer for the mandalorian i could have swore i seen him in just like a silver helmet like the carbonized one is yeah i still haven't looked into that but i don't remember that at all but what that Maybe. look reminds me of is that little pin i showed it off on our fourth friday vlog but it it's like an older like animated version of ig11 the mandalorian in cardoon mm. and he has like the more silver like like how boba fett looked in uh with the star wars holiday special oh where it's like that style of animation but mm. his helmet is like more silver the colors are a little bit different and that's what the carbonized look really reminded me of so it's definitely inaccurate to the show, but I kind of like the shininess of <laughs> of the armor and the just variation on the design. I like the silver helmet. Yeah, I really like I, the silver helmet. I like helmet. the silver helmet. Um, and the silver on the guns, I feel like, looks a lot cooler than the standard release. Yeah, if there's one carbonized figure, I would say I'm happy that I bought. I mean, I'm happy that I bought the ones that I have, but <laughs> like, if there's one that I would justify, maybe. Yeah. I'm so neutral on this, but it would be the Mandalorian. Probably my favorite one, mm -hmm. carbonized version. Because it's actually different. Yeah. Significantly different. Yeah. So, and it's Target exclusive, and there's a good story behind it, because we're waiting in line on Force Friday. True, true, true. Good memory associated with it already. Mm -hmm. But, but at the same time, it's kind of forcing me to buy two of the same character. Well, true. But remember, we were only going to get one or the other. But then we found both. So yeah. <laughs> it was kind of like a Force Friday, like you win in Rome. Like this is a holiday. It's a Star Wars holiday. And again, you might think that's unethical that they're forcing you to buy both. I was forced to buy both just because that's how I am. But again, you have that choice. Yeah, it's just... It really depends on your mindset. Right. Can you resist the temptations of Hasbro or not? Right. And I feel like Justin, you and I are, are we can't, especially <laughs> for Star Wars stuff. But at the same time, we're not completionists. Yeah. So it's not like they could just release whatever they want and I'm going to blindly just, ah. Right. But nor are we like blindly praising these right. figures. Very, very kind of neutral. Yeah. Even though we bought them. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, but I definitely think that the Mandalorian is easily the most justifiable, like you were saying. Right. Target exclusive. Those are pretty hit or miss, especially some people's targets seem to get all the exclusives. Our targets are pretty hit or miss. Yeah. Most of the time, I've, ha I've acquired an exclusive. I've had to ask an employee to please look in the back for me. Wow. That's how I got the, the Gamorrean Guard. That's how I got Trash Compactor Luke. So it's like... Those are the only times I ever really find them is when I feel like asking an employee. Yeah. Um, so let's move on to the final one. Mm -hmm. The Sith Trooper. Yep. I do not have this one. This is the Amazon exclusive. That's why I didn't say this one would be necessarily hard to find. It's been going in and out of stock, I think, pretty much since Force Friday. So you should be able to acquire it pretty easily for retail price. But this one is the one you didn't pick up. Right. And, and I think... I mean, it's mildly because I found two and I just couldn't resist buying two of the regular ones. Well, don't you have a total and then of I, three? Yeah, and then I forgot I had one pre-ordered on Amazon and it just showed up and I was like, now I have three. <laughs> I'm a crack addict. You had three Sith Troopers, haven't even so, seen the movie. Right. right. <laughs> when, I, when I think of Troopers, I kind of want them all to be the same unless like one is a commander, one has the pauldron. This one is just an inaccurate depiction of the Sith Troopers, so that's why I don't really want to have a bunch of accurate Sith Troopers and then there's just like one inaccurate Sith Trooper. I can understand Even that. though it looks super cool. Yeah. I think this one, 
it, there's like something so appealing about it. It's just that right shiny deep red right. that just draws you in. And the paint apps are on the gun as well, and it looks really nice. The contrast between the black and the red. But there's a twist with this one. Yeah, the twist with this one is actually the carbonized uh, Sith Trooper does not include the smaller blaster. Right. He only comes with the one blaster with like the stock. Which is the better blaster? Because the other one just kind of looks like a Nerf gun, but still extra $5 for less, less. accessories. Yeah, I would say... What? This one is the biggest one you could be like, that's some bullshit. Yeah. Because that is bullshit, that you pay an extra $5 for a better... for not I shouldn't say better. For different. A, for a different paint job and less accessories. Like, that... Which is cool that the gun that it does come with has those paint apps applied to the gun as well. And it looks really nice. Because I could totally just see Hasbro just sticking the regular gun in there. But, I mean, it's an extra $5. Give them the two guns. Yeah, That's seriously. honestly kind of ridiculous in my opinion. I mean, it's also a little ridiculous that the Jet Trooper only comes with one gun as well. But that's probably accurate to the character. Because we don't know yet, like, what. if Does he use a different weapon at right. some point? You know, but That's to be determined at the at the time of this recording. I think ultimately my opinion is if you don't want these, just don't buy them. It's really that simple. Like, I know there's those types of completionists out there, but it is the same number. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, man. Like, True. It doesn't have the exclusive There's no, mark. like council out there that is going to judge you on which ones you have and don't have unless it's your entire black series collection video and people go you don't have this 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 and that even though i never said that i was a completionist i never said that this was the entire <laughs> black series Dude, co collection that has, has been released since 2013 like i never claimed that it was every single figure and then there's a bunch of comments going you don't have this, this, this. those comments make me laugh you don't have this rogue one figure that you don't have this rogue one figure there's a reason there's a reason there is a reason behind every figure that jarek has in his collection and there's a reason that there's certain ones that are missing absolutely just like my collection, which maybe I'll film a video eventually. Yeah. I've been doing a little rearranging, so I'm hoping. Yeah. So, all right, final thoughts. Ultimately, to answer the question, no. The, no, to flat out answer the question, absolutely not. These figures are not worth the extra $5. They should be regular price. Make them regular price, store exclusive, maybe a little bit harder to find so that it feels a little bit like, ooh, I got a special maybe, one. Maybe. I would. I think it is the extra money that just is like... I think that's a good point. I think if they were 20, like the other figures, I think I might change my mind. Yeah. However, yeah, extra $5 just for different because it's up to your interpretation. Because there are factually better paint apps mm -hmm. that are just... You can say they're better paint apps on figures. But then they're, these are just different. Yeah. You, I don't really say you can't say they are or are not better because it's up to your interpretation. So you're paying an extra $5 just for a little bit of variation. Yeah. But if they were the same price, I would think maybe that's a little more justifiable. Yeah. But as it stands right now, probably not worth it. Now, do I want them to continue doing it? Yes. I'll say it. I, I do like... <laughs> I like the figures. I'm a crackhead i'm <laughs> a crackhead really bro you just said they're not worth five dollars do i want them to continue yes yes <laughs> exactly i i would <laughs> i would say no i hope this is just a one time maybe force friday maybe just make this a force friday gimmick so there's something a little more spicy out there you get a little more people out there hunting around although presumably this is probably the last force friday this past one there's right. no there's no movie next year Wow. Yeah. But maybe they'll do something. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I, I would say it's not worth it. Get it if you want it. If you don't want it, don't buy it. And don't let it bug you. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, they, at the end of the day, it's a company. They're going to come up with new and different ways to make as much money as they possibly can. 
Welcome to corporations. Yeah, but I would I would say I hope they don't do this again unless it's just like a little one time thing they do like like it'd just be annoying if they did this for like every wave. True. I'd be like, Ugh. but like, I, I hope they don't do it. Like, Is there any figure, any character that you would like to see carbonized? I think maybe I'd like to see some more troopers. I think the variation on the trooper design is pretty nice. Maybe just to have a matching set, maybe we can get a carbonized IG-11 and a carbonized Cara Dune so that we can have them match our carbonized Mandalorian. Don't give them ideas, <laughs> I mean, Hasbro does watch our videos, so we gotta be careful here. Yeah, we gotta be careful here. Uh, so. Yeah, I think, I think some more troopers. Maybe things to match the ones we already have. Nothing crazy. Obviously, I feel like human characters would be like hard to do because you wouldn't want to make their they skin have shiny. Like skin. Yeah, they're looking like Data from Star Trek or yeah. something. But no, no. Robots, troopers, carbonized Vader. And oh yeah, man. That probably look. That probably look like the second sister. So it wouldn't really even be all that right, interesting. Right. So what do you guys think of the carbonized figures? Let's talk Star Wars in the comments down below. Do you want them to continue or do you want them to stop? Let's talk about it. Of course, if you enjoyed this episode of Figured Out, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Ring that bell for notifications. Share this video with all your Star Wars loving friends. Maybe even your Star Wars hating friends. I'll just delete their comments. <laughs> Of course, I'm Nate. I've been joined with Justin. See you guys later. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time on Out of the Basement.